Good afternoon and welcome to Ben's Addiction. Today we do have a new issue. It is not a new issue, it's a kind of lingering issue. So as you can see, my car is now inside the garage and our garage is pretty flat with no slope. And this level is telling me that the car in terms of suspension and everything else is in a kind of level situation but when we look at the engine you will see that engine on the left hand side of the camera is dropped by about one or two centimeter that's about an inch so what i want to do is to go ahead and replace the right hand side engine mount so this is going to be a comprehensive video on how to replace the engine mount okay what i've done i've jacked up the car with the wheel on at the moment and the stand underneath and then this is the uh, engine mount that i've bought let's try again yeah, I can see some of the engine mount in this position. So there is one bolt on the top, which is pretty damn tough to remove. But let's try this. I'll let you know how hard or easy it is to remove. Okay, we are under the car and... <clears throat> this is the control arm of the right hand side. And there are two holes, big ones, one and two here. If you look inside, you will see that there are two 13 millimeter bolts in there. That I don't think there should be any problem taking those comparing to the top ones. So let's take these two out and then we will go from there. Oh my god, don't be surprised if you have to tightly loosen up these two bolts from under the car. These are 13 millimeter, as I said, with lots of blue Mercedes lock nut lock or thread locker, the blue stuff. And it was so tight to remove. And these are pretty long ones, at least one inch. So yeah, it, it needs a lot of elbow grease, even to do the lower ones. So these two are out. We are left with the top one. The top one has not much room to play with. I have the jack underneath the car. As you can see, I'm using a very big and heavy kind of aluminum. And on top of it, there are some timbers to distribute the force and I have to use the oil pan the corner of the oil pan to slightly lift the engine I haven't done so yet it's just in place just in case but but in order to get a better access over here I have to lift the engine about an inch making sure that i'm not going to damage anything like fan fan blades and the cables around here accelerate accelerator cable and things like that just make sure you gradually jack up and very carefully i'll let you know if i had any trouble okay it might be a good idea to remove the cap of the oil filter from here to give you a little bit more room to be able to remove that little bolt and also you need to remove the air duct from here so yeah you do whatever you can to be able to get more access to that bolt
Got a 17 millimeter ratchet spanner with 90 degrees angle on it. Ratchet angle spanner 17 millimeter is down there and I'm using another spanner to leverage okay guys I just want to show you how I loosened the bolt the top bolt for the engine mount the right hand side I was struggling for hours and hours finally the trick was see this uh, these two clamps for the exhaust I loosened them looking at the other one see how they're at the top of the exhaust. I loosened these ones and just turned them 20, 25 degrees, 30 degrees. And then I used in between these as leverage. I have raised the jack a bit to lift the engine. And I used the pry bar between these to push this toward the front and to loosen them and that was the only way I could do it if you can fit your ratchet there socket ratchet use your spanner you can do the same trick if you lift the engine enough so that's the scenario it's a bit loose now I'm confident that I can do the rest it's not yet to that point but it's just like half a turn is it's a bit damaged but it's usable and I can't see any thread block on this okay here's the sweet part of it finally the bolt is out this is the very nice long bolt the damn one just like I don't know 80 newton meter or something to loosen this but there is no leverage down there you just need to be creative the way I did it was you know I it was my final final power and force and strength and I used everything that I had to just break this loose so don't get disappointed all right here is the sweet part I just want to take off this plate and hopefully after that it should come out okay let me show you how it looks like down there there's a plate that you need to I have removed the oil filter cap and I've covered it with the fabric a piece of rag not to contaminate drop anything inside the oil let's try this okay needless to mention that you might need to remove the shroud and that's an easy one you just need to remove one okay here comes the plate it was kind of stuck down there it took me another 10 minutes to take this off i don't know why it was glued like like it was glued to the engine mounts i can't see anything like glue but it was stuck there so this is out now, let's take the engine mount out. Taking the old engine mount should be easier than putting back a new engine mount. That's kind of my feeling. 
because Okay, this is getting a bit complicated now. I tried to take this off from underneath and there was no room because exhaust was there and all the steering components. And now I'm trying to take it off from up here and I think this is as far as I can go in terms of lifting the engine, but this is the this is the old engine mount which is a bit even smaller than the new one and i'm struggling so yeah okay here is a unique situation i was on i was unable to find a youtube video on how to take this old engine mount out from this place I've raised the engine as far as I could I mean I'm stretching all the hoses and everything and I'm almost touching the firewall so I cannot raise the engine anymore I've taken the first piece of the manifold this is the oil filter I've covered and it's near not yet coming off. If you have planned to take off the manifold, you've got three bolts and those two clamps to take off. But I would say it's not going to work for you either if you have a SL500 R129 and the other models just like 124, 500. I've noticed that the uh, seating position for the mount is different. It's just like U-shape, but in our case, it's just a circular round shape. So there's no way from underneath the car. There's too many uh, steering rack components and steering and suspension components that I was unable to pull it out from the other side and I have decided to take the manifold off at least this piece over here the bigger piece so that's the plan for now stay tuned okay some progress I've taken two bolts from the downpipe that you'll see there possibly yes uh, so two bolts the first one I took it from underneath the car using a half a meter long extension and 13 mil socket and a ratchet make sure you use a half an inch uh, ratchet start uh, lubricating more with WD-40 and then go and loosen all the way and it took about 15 minutes to take these two it's usually more drama for a 13 year old car but it goes smoothly now I'm going to take uh, five six bolts from the manifold to take the manifold off okay this is a video of taking the manifold the right hand side manifold as well here's the part number you you won't need it probably this is the last thing that it's going to be problematic but there are two bolts underneath and one two three bolts on top uh, this is the mid section this is the access to down pipe bolts doesn't look so bad and thankfully there was no problematic kind of stock bolt and here we are and there it is clear view uh, almost clear view of 
the engine mount. So I am definitely sure that now it will come out. The moment of truth. Yes, and this makes my job easier in putting back. So there's a good chance if you see this BB or triple B on these engine mount, you're dealing with some original stock. See, there is oil in there. And it is not as bad as the ones I've seen on YouTube, but it is bad. Well, it's almost coming out. And this is the part everybody has been waiting. Let's compare the old one to the new one. Oh, God. That's a lot of difference, you see? I would say about 20 mil of difference we have over here. This is completely flat and this is... Yes, at least 20 mil difference. So I will say it is now 100%, no, 1000% easier to put this back in there. See how easy it's going out in there now? Because, uh, not yet that easy though, but we're almost there. Oh well, this is doable, but not with one hand definitely. It's almost there. Uh, stay tuned, I will put it in there and I will go from there. Okay, without any trouble, the engine mount is in and you have a clear view of what's going on here. Just a little adjustment and there we go, we have it. But this is how to take the manifold off. Let's see if I can show you the bolts. This is the washer. It's recommended that you uh, to replace the washer. You will see all the bolt patterns and definitely you will have less struggle and problem than me taking this manifold and engine mount off. But in saying so, I have all these problems. Why? Because of my, uh, probably one reason was my ADS suspension. So I've got all sorts of hydraulic uh, pipes running around this area as well as the uh, hydraulic block is here so if that hydraulic block wasn't here i was probably able to take it off from here i'm not sure i'm just guessing make sure you remove that uh, shroud my shroud is in there now and make sure you jack your engine properly uh, and let's go ahead and Tighten all the bolts and nuts and put everything back again. Okay, back to the story and putting back everything. I've put the oil filter cap on as I think it doesn't have any effect in uh, my work. Here goes the heat shield on top of the Engine mount. Should be something like that. Okay, from underneath, I've got both bolts on, as you can see, but I didn't tighten them all the way. I just left some wiggle room because I need to put back the top bolt and I probably need a bit of uh, moving the mount and the engine and things like that to be able to properly uh, screw on that bolt. Okay, I have put back this big piece over here uh, just with one screw 
everything loose. I keep this right hand side exhaust piece to be able to reach down there and do those two exhaust bolts and put the exhaust back and then piece by piece I put back the exhaust one thing that I'm noticing now as you can see that exhaust downpipe is not aligned with the main piece of the manifold so I'm never able to put that back without any putting any pressure on the bolts so what I'm going to do I'm going to lower the engine and put back the main bolts for the engine mount and then I will go ahead from there for the rest of the job one thing that you should uh, really know is that this job is really time consuming for anyone if you give it to your mechanic or mercedes dealer or anyone it takes time and they will charge you the same amount of money it it is going to be much more effortless for them because they have the right tool and hoist and every uh, and it's going to be less effortless but uh, it it will take time because this is not an easy task so you better take your time if you have enough to just use your brain a bit and try to i know all the bolts and nuts here are hard to take at this stage especially some exhaust bolt and that top bolts for uh for the engine mount so take your time and it it might take few days even one or two weeks gradually you will do it and that's doable just break the work into a few small pieces and then do it safely and without rush. Okay, successfully done the next step. So the top 17 mil bolt on the engine mount is now screwed in, not tightly, just enough, just like 10 mil or 12 mil in and I am ready to put back the exhaust downpipe bolts, the two long ones. I am now able to raise the engine a little bit to give me more space and room to be able to put those two back. So everything is going smoothly as it should so far. Knock on the wood. Okay, the day after, and at this stage, that 17 millimeter uh, engine mount bolt is tight. As far as I could, with a good ratchet spanner, ring spanner, and then uh, two downpipe exhaust bolts are tight. So we're doing from underneath to the top because we are now closing this gap by putting the last piece of manifold here. Still, the exhaust manifold bolts are loose for me to put that last piece on and then I'll go ahead and tighten them up. The last thing I will do is the first thing I did when I wanted to take off the bolts from the uh, engine mount and that would be to tighten two lower 13 millimeter bolts for the engine mount that will be my last thing to do and now i'm going ahead to put back this piece the last piece of manifold and tighten all the bolts i have hand tightened the manifold bolts all around with the clamps on, I am going to uh, torque all the bolts. Uh, the factory setting says 10 for earlier models and 12 Newton meter for the later models. I'm going in between, I don't know if my car is earlier or late models, but 11 Newton meter should be fine. Okay, everything done, put together. 
make sure you torque them right. The uh, oil cap, if you remove, torque, torque it back. And then uh, the underneath bolts, the exhaust downpipe bolts. And finally, last but not least, this shroud here. There are four clips around it. Just move the just move the shroud, make sure all four clips are on and just and finally put back the lock. I can already say that the engine is beautifully set. And then there's another change here. Look at the gap here. I was hardly able to pull out my, my oil filter cap out. Now I have lots of space here. I can see properly the engine mount before it was not almost visible. So much drastic change. Let's put back the air filter and have a look at the engine and how it sits. The car is on even surface and sitting beautifully as you can see. Comparing to what I showed you previously and this is how and this is how the engine mount was very flat and very disintegrated the fluid is coming out and I highly suggest you to replace your engine mount if you have any odd kind of vibration when idling I had a lot of vibration while idling I'll uh, start the car now and let it idle for a few seconds and I'll show you okay for the first time I can see my engine actually rocking in place so you see all the nice vibration that engine has but the chassis doesn't so the engine mount is trying to even out all those vibration but before the engine mount was rock solid my hand is on the car I can't feel any vibration but I can see engine vibration just a little bit Also, don't forget your oil cap torque setting is 20 Newton meter. So, if you remove that, make sure you torque that to the factory setting 20 Newton meter. I couldn't find any detailed version of SL500 removing and replacement of the engine mount. I'm pretty sure this is going to help few people. To tackle their issue and taking out all the and taking out the engine mount which is tricky with the ABS suspension thank you so much for liking subscribing and have a good day